I ain't married no more. I just, and then I lost the house, and I'm, now I just I travel around. I don't, um, I don't have an address. I don't want one. I don't have an apartment anywhere. Like, you are literally watching a homeless man right now. <laughs> My only problems in life now are airport security and border guards and customs agents, which would be a pretty good only problem to have if I look normal, but I don't. I look like this. <laughs> so I'm constantly getting screwed with at the borders, which bothers me because... I've been a comedian for 18 years now, and it used to be relatively easy to get across borders, and then 9-11 happened, then it got, like, really hard, especially for people like me, which I don't understand, because I don't remember a Leonard Skinner cover band having anything to do with the actions of that horrible day. And I'm constantly fucked with at the border. And I've got to write on my form that I'm a comedian and no border guard ever in the history of time has ever been able to deal with that information maturely. <laughs> so I was like, oh, comedian. Howdy, ha, 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 ha. I once had a border guard look me straight in the eye once and go, comedian. Yeah, what do your parents think of that? <laughs> What do my parents think of me? What do your parents think of you, you pretend cop? <laughs> like, as a comedian, I travel the whole world making people laugh. That is one of the most difficult jobs on the planet. I know people who went to Harvard who can't do this job. A border guard, however, goes to bed every night knowing no matter how good they get at their job, a dog will always be better. Y'all live to be 80, 90 years old. Nigga dead from that shit there. That's talk to the brother. I don't know what man with you, but nigga, get out while you can. 